My general rule is to criticize the team and not individuals. And then if you're going to criticize individuals, do it one-on-one -on -one as, as often as possible. And that's, that's, that script cannot be fulfilled every day. And I mean, there are days that you got to take on individuals for being lazy or being you know, not in tune to the practice that's participating in the correct way. And sometimes that individual needs to be you know, singled out. But in general, I like to I like to make the feeling that that individual is hurting the team, and thus the team must be punished. And instead of just focusing on one individual, um, team punishment I think is much better than individual punishment. And team criticism then can be directed to individuals behind closed doors in one-on-one -on -one situations, or maybe positional situations along the way. You know, your point guards aren't doing this, your, your wing guys aren't running the court well enough, your defense in the middle is not protecting the paint. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, I think the more you can buffer, you know, severe individual criticism, I'm a big believer that, you know, there's a the sandwich theory of being, for every criticism, there should be two slices of positive and, along the way. And uh, I talk to my assistants a lot of times, I tell them they can't use the word no today. They have to speak without knowing their vocabulary, just to keep it to be a dialogue of information rather than no, 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 that was wrong, you're wrong, and, and trying to keep your negative. As a coaching staff, you can have energy too, <clears throat> and I like my assistant coaches to be very positive throughout practice.